Okay. Oh, we're already recording? On me, let me get let me get in my position of filming. What? I'm ready to go. <laughs> I need to like stare at just me. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Lauren. If you're new here, this is the first video you are seeing on my channel and you haven't seen any of my other videos um, where Christian is kind of in the background of them. This is my boyfriend, Christian. <laughs> there are just some questions that some of you guys asked us on Instagram and um, some of them are relationship related and others are just general questions so I thought it would be fun if we filmed this Q&A for you guys and I kind of introduced Christian on this channel because he is in the background of a lot of vlogs and we did just move in together three months ago so he will continue to be in the background of more so a lot of you guys asked questions on how we met so I'm gonna answer that question first I'm gonna kind of condense the story a little bit but we had a few mutual friends, um, knew of each other, kind of crossed paths a few times, but nothing really happened. Uh, one day he followed me on Instagram. I followed back because I thought it was cute. And then I made a purchase of a candle, a middle finger candle, and it came in the mail that weekend. And I posted on my story, best purchase I've ever made. And I thought it was funny. And he replied back to my story and said, best purchase I'd ever make is dinner and drinks with you. And I thought that was a really good pickup line. Um, so I messaged back and gave it a shot. And then we made plans to meet up that next weekend. And I wasn't really feeling well. I went out anyway and I was about to bail on the plans and um, go call an Uber. And I was walking by a bar and my one of my closest friends walked out and I said, you're downtown? You never go out, like I have to stay. So we stayed and um, it was also a Friday the 13th that we met, which I thought was funny because I'm kind of superstitious. And yeah, the next question that we are going to answer is, what do you guys do for work? So I just posted a work week in my life video. I've posted two of them on my channel. So if you kind of want to see a day-to-day -day life during the week, because I mostly vlog on the weekends, check out those videos. But I mentioned in those videos that I work in an executive office space. So we rent out offices on our floor to different companies. And um, we also have conference rooms on our floor. So we rent out our conference rooms and then we have extra little offices that companies can rent depending on what they're looking for. And I, yeah, that's where I go Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 5.30. And what do you do for work? Um, so I'm a sales consultant for a liquor distribution company. Um, so basically I sell liquor to uh, retail stores, um, liquor stores. And uh, yeah, I represent um, liquor mostly, a little bit of wine, no beer, anything like that. So it's mainly just liquor, but yeah, so I'm pretty much a sales rep and, uh, and I sell alcohol. So that's... That's what we do. Um, what is your favorite Trader Joe's item? And we do go to Trader Joe's a lot. Um, every few weeks we go and do a big stock up, but my favorite would have to be the Gorgonzola gnocchi. I'll put a picture of it right here. It's so good and we've been pairing it with steaks and it's just creamy and really delicious. We have tried the cauliflower gnocchi and it's just, I guess it's just missing a sauce, but the gorgonzola gnocchi is so good. What's yours? Um, I know this might be weird, but I like fruit a lot, so probably the, the dried mango is really good oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also the uh, everything but the elote chips. Yeah. Um, those are pretty good as well if you dip them in guacamole. You I'll can get the guac from Trader Joe's as well. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'll put a picture of both of those items right here as well. They're really good. But everything from Trader Joe's is so good, you really can't go wrong. Uh, the next one is favorite kitchen appliance. So mine would actually be my Nespresso machine. I use it every single day. You see it in all of my videos. I love my Nespresso. I used to have a Keurig, but nothing compares to my Nespresso coffee. I truly look forward to it every single day. That'd be mine. What's yours? Well, I don't drink coffee at all, um, He's ever. Nuts. I literally maybe have 
a cup of coffee once every month. I, I don't drink coffee. I would definitely say the air fryer is probably my number one kitchen appliance. Um, I don't use it as much as she does, but the food that she makes in it is pretty good. So I would definitely say that if we didn't have that, the food probably wouldn't be as good. I don't know. Um, <laughs> So yeah, probably the air fryer is mine. No, it's definitely a game changer. We cook vegetables in there, um, hash browns in there, what, frozen foods in there. It's really, really good. Tips for moving in with your significant other for the first time. We just moved in together three months ago and it was an adjustment because we've only we only used to see each other on the weekends and sometimes during the week. So it was a lot to go from seeing each other a few times a week to every single day. So my biggest tip would be to definitely have respect for each other's space and time because you are spending every single day together. Also definitely having a plan for a budget. I like to keep our relationship very 50-50 and very equal so it was important to me to have a budget in place or a plan so we split everything down the middle 50 50 uh, bills groceries just to keep it fair so one person isn't giving more than the other and do you have anything else to add um just more of the same what she said uh definitely you know um communication and respect for the other person's space um kind of cliche to say but um it's definitely nice to Sometimes, I know I like my personal space, she likes her personal space, so if you're living with somebody, you see them every single day, uh, sometimes you just need like, you know, a few hours to yourself here and there, so, um, and she's really good with that, so, uh, yeah, just respecting the other person's personal space, I would say, is the biggest piece of advice. Mm -hmm. How long have you been dating was another question, and we've been dating for two and a half years. Is having different sleep schedules frustrating? So this was asked by Maya and she knows that we have different sleep schedules. I go to bed really early around 9 or 10 o'clock um, and he goes to bed relatively late and doesn't, he's not a morning person and I am. But I wouldn't say it's frustrating at all. Um, it's not like we're inconsiderate of each other sleeping yeah i don't think it's frustrating i mean no nah, it's it's definitely not frustrating um it's she goes to bed obviously early sometimes like really early like before nine o'clock and that's I rare mean, I, I mean it's rare but she it's it's happening it's nine or ten yeah so um you know it, I'm, I'm just quiet, you know, I respect her going to sleep early. She wakes up earlier than I do for work as well, so, um, you know, I let her have her rest and her peace, um, and I just, you know, watch TV or play video games or something. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's frustrating. Um, if anything, you know, it kind of, like, goes into the thing we, we said earlier about, like, you know, personal time and space away from each other. Like she That's goes to bed so early, true. so like I have some time, like to do things at night, like whether it's work or, like I said, you know, play video games with friends or watch sports or something like that while right. she's That's sleeping. So true. That's so, like our alone um, time. Yeah, it's a lot of our alone time, and then like she'll go in the bedroom, and you know, she has time to whatever watch, watch YouTube. YouTube or whatever she does. Yeah. So, um, no, I definitely wouldn't say it's frustrating. I think it's I think it's actually helps in, in a little bit of a way and you know Yeah, because that way we're not going to bed and like waking up at the same time we, yeah. Like I have my mornings on the weekends and even during the work week and um, He has his evenings by himself to just relax how he wants to so I really do think it's it's a good thing. It's not definitely not a negative um, Oh, this one's for you how do we cook our steaks? Um, so basically, we use a cast iron skillet um, to cook the steaks. You, it's the method is called reverse sear. Um, I'm not a cook by any means. What's I'm actually terrible at cooking, but I do cook steaks pretty well. I guess that's like the only thing I know to cook. Um, but you take the uh, the steak, you season it, and then you uh, heat up the cast iron skillet on the stove top. Um, on high heat, you put a little bit of oil at the bottom. Um, you throw the steak in in the pan for about three and a half to four minutes, depending on how you like the steak cooked on one side. Then you flip it and then you put it inside the oven 
Um, you pre first preheat the oven to 450 degrees, so beforehand, so it's preheated. You put then the entire skillet, pan, and the steak inside the oven um, for another four minutes after you flip it. You pull it out, uh, you put a little bit of butter in the pan, let the butter melt, and then kind of put the, glaze the butter over the steak. Um, and then yeah, it's it usually comes out pretty good. Um, comes out perfect. Yeah, it comes out pretty well. And then um, yeah, it's it's extremely easy. Anybody could do it. You just need a cast iron skillet, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. Did Christian adapt to your eating habits or the other way around? And how do you choose dinner meals? So I think we eat relatively the same thing. It's not like I have like a different diet or I eat vegan or anything like that. Um, we both like to eat healthy and I mean we kind of like the same things I guess the hardest part is deciding what to eat when and when to eat it um, But we like the same foods Yeah, we pretty much eat the same stuff uh, have the same likes and food um, Have the same mindset. We definitely both want to eat as healthy as possible um, Doesn't <clears throat> always happen sometimes it doesn't always happen. I'm sure you've seen in her videos uh, we indulge in some unhealthy meals sometimes but um at the same time uh we have kind of the same mindset like try and eat as healthy as possible throughout the week and then um we'll treat ourselves maybe on the weekends but uh yeah there's there's no really adjusting to each other's so like like she said it's it's more so um you know what we're gonna eat not not like the types of food it's like what are we gonna make this night or that night um just because we're both indecisive and yeah, it's hard to pick sometimes. Yeah. Um, how did Maya ask, how does he feel about Maya and Taylor? And Maya and Taylor are my best friends if you don't already know. Um, <clears throat> they're, they're extremely annoying. Um, they're loud. Um, they're not really like, they're, they're not really funny. No, I'm just kidding. They're, they're great. Um, she, her, all of her friends are super cool. Um, I get along with pretty much all of them. <clears throat> well, I get along with all of them. Um, and their boyfriends are also cool. So, um, yeah, there's great girls. <laughs> great girls. Yeah, we get along um, with both of each other's friends. So, that's good, too. So, the next question is, what's your biggest goal? And I'll start. So, I think my biggest goal is to, at the end of the day, be happy and to know that I... And fulfilling my days and living for me I just think doing things for me and doing what I want to do and knowing at the end of the day I did what I wanted to do and had to do and it brought me a lot of joy I think that's my biggest goal um, yeah just to be happy what's yours um I mean I have tons of goals um, I try and set myself, but um, I don't really have a big goal. Like I said, I just have a bunch of a bunch of just smaller or medium size, whatever you want to call it, goals. Goals for like different aspects of your life. Yeah, just just different goals for different aspects. Um, but I mean, I guess a large goal would be you know to be as successful as possible, um, be while well, obviously being happy, um, and you know just go from there you know take life a day at a time and uh yeah okay and this last question is for me what inspired you to start documenting your life and i think i've always been such a big memory person i've always been one to take photos current friends can vouch for me always wanting a photo or taking pictures of things documenting things <laughs> So I kind of took it to the next level and started like a video diary basically and I think I just kind of sat down one day and asked myself what I wanted more out of life and this fulfills me in like a different way and um, I don't know I just thought it would be nice to look back on something 20 years from now and be able to look at these videos and look at what my 25 year old self was doing and to be able to show people and just kind of take people along on my journey as well. The 20s and 30s I feel like are huge times in your life because you don't really have anything holding you back like school or anything like that. You can kind of make your own decisions and 
yeah, I would just like to document it and you kind of have to move past people's opinions of you and opinions on what you do because you do get a lot of hate when it comes to YouTube and you kind of have to get, get over that really quickly because with YouTube not a lot of people agree with you or no one agrees with you and no one likes you so <laughs> um, yeah I just did it mostly for me because I know I'll love to look back on this and it's a lot of fun doing it day to day and showing you guys what I'm doing, what I'm using, what I'm eating, and all the little things that I do in life. So, yeah, that's why I do this. <clears throat> yeah, I give her a lot of credit. I can never do it personally, but I mean, I can understand that, you know, why she does it. And I, you know, give her full support of doing it. So, um, yeah. Not something that I would ever do just because it's, I'm not really into the, the whole being in front of the camera too much thing, but um, yeah, she's good at it, so I'm happy she does it. Well, thank you. That is all the questions for today. So thank you guys so much for watching, and <clears throat> thank you, Christian, for sitting down and filming this video with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye!